You know, when you think of placebo, a uh, placebo effect, it's a, a kind of a psychological trick, right? A fake pill to give you hope. But does it produce any effects? Recent research is showing an increase in the placebo response over the past couple of decades. It's the strangest thing. Yeah, Dr. John Michaels is a former first-round draft choice and Super Bowl champ with the Green Bay Packers. After an injury ended his NFL career, he went to medical school, and he's made getting patients off pain pills one of the founding principles of his practice. Dr. Michaels joins us on the Kogo News Live Line. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing this morning? Very Excellent. good, thank you. So there's a new study out on placebo. What do we know? So what it's showing is that over the last few decades, we have seen an increase in the placebo response with patients, patients who are knowingly getting a pill that has no medical benefit whatsoever, and yet still seeing an improvement in their overall symptoms and outcomes. And what the study has shown, and there's a couple different confounding issues with it, is that one, because it is a medical research study, um, they're feeling like maybe the patients are getting a little more attention being a part of this study and that that positive attention is helping to make this placebo effect more profound. But also just the thought process of patients being able to take a pill twice a day, that even that brings some kind of psychological benefit because we've so associated medications with improvement in our overall outcomes. Now, one of your focuses is obviously, uh, you know, painkillers. And does this help people who normally would maybe take an opioid for pain, maybe be able to take less or even get off them entirely? Absolutely. I see patients in my office all the time who are so fixated on their pain. A great example, a woman came in, young lady in her mid-30s who had had fusion of her cervical spine, of her neck. And she came into my office complaining of eight and a half out of 10 on a pain scale. So pretty severe pain. I took her through a minute and a half of relaxation and breathing exercises, and her pain went down from an eight and a half to a four. Cut her pain in half without touching her, without giving her a single medication. It shows the power of the mind to affect the way that we perceive pain and discomfort in our lives. But doctor, okay, what if you're suffering from cancer? What if you you've just had surgery? I mean, would you, I mean, you wouldn't want to give somebody a fake pill, right? I mean, if if they're experiencing that kind of pain. No, I mean, there's a time and a place where these medications are absolutely effective. However, studies have also shown that people who go into surgery and come out of surgery with a positive mental attitude and a positive outlook have far less complications have far less post-operative pain. So giving them any tool possible to help them have a more positive outlook, they're going to come out with far greater outcomes than the person who has a negative outlook. So, doctor, let's say you've got somebody who's going to go into surgery and you know that it is going to be a painful surgery. Um, What are the things that you would do to try to help them mitigate that pain and maybe make them make their painkillers that they are taking more effective? So a couple tools that we're going to utilize is, first of all, again, giving them that hope that this surgery is truly going to help them. Walk them through the process. Let them know that they're going to have some discomfort. A lot of times, if you let someone know that something is going to hurt, their expectations are set in advance so that the pain is actually far less or actually the suffering is far less on the other end because they were expecting to have some discomfort versus someone like if you're going to give them a shot in their arm and you say this isn't going to hurt at all and it hurts, all of a sudden, that pain is a lot worse because they weren't expecting it to hurt. So giving them clear expectations and then making sure that you adequately manage their pain for the short period of time where you know it's going to be most severe. So utilization of pain medications for a very short period of time right out of surgery has shown to decrease the long-term suffering and the development of chronic pain syndromes, which can come from different procedures. Interesting information, doctor. Thank you very much. That is Dr. John Michaels joining us on the Kogo News Live Line.